So you are 1 in 100 that made it to brown belt and you want to become 1 in 10,000? Awesome! Hello everyone, I'm Tim. So congratulations, you have made it to brown belt and are now finally ready to take the big exam to become a black belt. You're amazing and you'll do great, or will you? Let's look at this little piece of dojo math. For every 10,000 people that join a dojo, half will drop out in the first six months. Of those remaining students, about 90% will not complete the first year. But only 20% of that will even reach brown belt. Of these 100, <laughs> only one will make it to black belt. A little dramatic, maybe, but these numbers aren't too far from the truth. So you are 1 in 100 that made it to brown belt. And you want to become 1 in 10,000? Awesome! Now, I know black belt is not the end of the journey, but for those of you who are at this stage of the trip, here's a few tips to help you get there. First of all, have you been taking care of cardio? A typical black belt grading can get pretty physical, which is only logical. The problem is you lose a lot of stamina on grading day due to nerves. So if you're in okay shape, count on becoming wrecked when your grading passes the first 15 minutes or so. So the first tip, run. Swim, sweat for kilometers and miles and leagues and furlongs and whatever, so you can at least count on being in okay shape during your grading. This should always be the case, but if you haven't begun already, take about a year to build this. Second tip, is your sensei the only one who's seen your stuff? Now whether you are graded by your own sensei or by some sort of committee, in the months coming up to your grading, you do well to regularly train with different people and ideally with different teachers. You see your sensei and they will correct flaws, but they aren't all-knowing. Other training partners and other teachers can give tips on all sorts of things. Stances, hip movement, speed, flexibility, you name it. Besides, you have to repeat your kihon and kata thousands of times anyway, and you only get better at fighting by doing it a lot. They say it takes a village to raise a child, but it also takes a whole community of people to raise a karateka. Third tip. Hey. How you doing? Mental health. Let me say that again. Mental health. Don't become a black belt to boost your mental health. Instead, boost your mental health to become a black belt. Now, I'm no doctor. I can only speak from personal experience. You see, I started out as a low confidence, easily bullied kind of pathetic kid. And it took years of training for me to start seeing that I was not pathetic. It starts by regularly telling yourself you can do this. Be assertive. Get yourself a power move or a shout. Karate has plenty of opportunities to boost your own morale. And if you're ever in doubt, just talk to someone. Fourth tip. Relax. A fourth and final tip. Relax. That's the best advice. Don't worry too much or worry, but know that worrying about your black belt exam is as effective as trying to solve an algebra equation by chewing bubblegum. Try to accept what's coming pass or fail, but know that you've done everything in your power to prepare. If you pass, great, awesome. If you don't, also great. Now you have the opportunity to work on your flaws and improve. All in all, nerves are a good sign, means you care, but don't let them rule you. Good luck, kick that exam in the nuts. Now, for those of you that are in need of a high intensity interval training, click here for some inspiration. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day, and as always, Thanks for watching. Each of Chuck Norris's blood cells has a black belt.